for this bonus question. Wanted to uh, throw this out there with regards to the uh, top line, the dynamic duo of Cole Caulfield and Nick Suzuki. Uh, we've seen some different guys play on the top line with them, whether it was Josh Anderson, who actually looked pretty decent. Yol Armia got some time. Uh, Rem Pitlick has been put in that position. Mike Hoffman has been put in that position. Who do you think, Rick, is the best fit on the number one line with Cole Caulfield and Nick Suzuki? I, I really enjoyed what Josh Anderson brought uh, to to those uh, guys. I mean, there's a, a guy that, you know, you don't have to worry about him keeping up with the uh, speed of them. A big body that goes to the net. You'll get in the corners. You'll get pucks. Uh, you know, he's a, a very effective player that probably would continue to complement those two as he did before because I think they had a really good run uh, of, you know, offensive uh you know, ability and, and uh, stats when they were together. And uh, Josh, uh, he's the kind of guy that uh, I think would uh, continue to succeed in that position with those two really good players. I'm going to go with, I like Josh Anderson, what he brought there, but he's a little bit too streaky for me. He, he just, he's a guy who he can play with them speed wise. And I like the fact that he uses his body to open up some space for them. He's probably the best fit right now, even though I think, St. Louis is trying to spread some wealth throughout the lineup a little bit by not putting them together. But I think they need somebody with a little bit more consistency consistency, and a little bit more puck skills than Josh Anderson because he can be there to help them out, but he's not necessarily a contributor, right? He, he's kind of the guy that everyone forgets is on the ice and then they find him at the last second and maybe he'll get a goal. But overall, I don't think he's with them in terms of like the cycle game, which is where they excel. Off the rush, totally fine. He can, he can hang with them there, but I think they need somebody else there, somebody who can get the puck off the wall, who can forecheck effectively and create some space for them. I don't know if they have that player on the roster yet. I would like to see Brendan Gallagher play with them. I just think that hmm. would be such a fun line to watch, and it's just funny thinking now that Brendan Gallagher is like the veteran guy of the team. I remember you know, not too long ago, him and Galchenyuk, and I think it was Brandon Press made a line together, but... Uh, you know, I, I just think it, it would work out well with them. Uh, he, Brendan Gallagher is known as that spark plug of the team. And it would just be an interesting combination to see what uh, the three of them can do together. But one of the things I think we need to come up with is a proper nickname for Nick Suzuki and Cole Caulfield. You know, the dynamic mm. duo. But we need something a little bit more creative uh, because those two guys have so much fun together that uh, there has to be like a good nickname for them. <laughs> That's a good thing. The one thing I'm just thinking with that is like the nickname for those two. I mean, it has to be creative. It has to be something that could, you know, like a millennial or a Gen Zer could get into it, but also like older people, older generate Gen Xers or whatever could also get into. I tried to make like a Dragon Ball Z reference with them, like in the playoffs last year. And like, I don't think too many people picked up on it because not everyone's up on Dragon Ball Z, but like, something we got to workshop something so maybe we leave it to the comments maybe someone could leave in the comments like you know their uh choices for nicknames for both uh cole and suzuki because they're they're the two guys who i think will be with this canadians team for a long time i still think it was not an accident that when kent hughes had that press conference yeah, introductory press conference the only two players we could really think of that he really mentioned by name were cole caulfield and nick suzuki and i think those are the only two sure things about the team going forward in terms of how they're building them uh to be a cup contending team so i think if you're trying to get a nickname for that dyna dynamic duo now and i know dynamic duo has been used a lot now's the time to get it in get in while it's early get in while it's still percolating between those two uh but yeah maybe uh no one's got another idea before we sign off here. I'm, I'm stumped on, idea, on ideas. I'm not good with nicknames. Well, I mean, if you want to look at Pitlick uh, as a player that, you know, Andrew, you touched on guys who have, with pretty good skills, pretty good speed. Uh, this this kid here, uh, I have been so impressed with him since, since he arrived. And, you know, there, there's a guy that uh, is a smart player, both uh, offensively, defensively, and he brings uh, he brings some good offensive uh, threat every time he, he's on the ice. So the good news about all this, uh, the way it's it's kind of shaping up, is they're increasing uh, the, the talent level of what they have in each and every line. So uh, Martin St. Louis has got some decisions to be made, but they're going to be in a, a better position uh, 
next year than what they were in the past year. That's what it looks like. Anyway, let us know in the comment section uh, your suggestions for who should play on the top line with Suzuki and Caulfield and a nickname for Suzuki and Caulfield together. And while you're at it, subscribe to the Montreal Hockey Insider podcast on YouTube, the Hockey Insider newsletter, and visit HockeyInsideOut.com for more episodes. 